guys were confused what is gen c and gen c elevate so in this video i'm going to talk about each and every step for elevate and gen c now let's begin with the video like in our college like in most of the colleges like for cognizant company we whenever the opening comes for cognizant we have to fill either for gen c or for gen c elevate now in gen c what it's basically is the package if you look for it it's like four lakh per annum but thing is and for gen c elevate it's 4.5 lakh something i guess yes for gen c elevate is four point the skill bonus is 50 000 plus now what's the major difference in this is whenever you apply for gen c this is for a job of tester and whenever you apply for a gen c elevate this profile is for the development so you have to be very conscious while applying that you whether you want to apply for a development kind of thing or whether you want to be apply for a like tester so for uh, if you are from it background like if you know how to write query like dbms and if you know how to code like you can solve yeah like you are a competitive programmer or coder then you you should fill form of elevate and for gen c it's like most of the in fact all of the questions are like aptitude questions so you literally don't have to study that much of like coding and all in fact you don't have to study that in fact you don't have to study coding for gen c exam but for an interview you have to just study like oops concept and dbms that's it for elevate you have to study all so this is the one major difference now let's go for the eligibility criteria like if you are for applying for elevate then these are the branches that can apply for this elevate and uh, let's go to the main thing which is the eligibility criteria yes so the eligibility criteria for this is that academically overall till now you have your marks should have more than 60 or 60 only this is the criteria which you have and there should be no backlogs so if you're applying from superset then automatically all the checks will come and uh, it will show this green and if you have any backlog or anything then it will be just simple cross so this was all about gen c and gen c elevate i hope you understand what it means and there's a pdf i will upload in the description so you don't have to worry about that in this everything is mentioned so you just go through it and just uh, it's like more of a first information kind of thing you just have to read all this like let me read and i already read so it's okay like for elevate these are the batches that can apply and for gen c like all the batches can apply so 60 percent and students two year gaps no year gap should also be this is also very important factors factor student withstanding areas or more than two year gap in education are not eligible so this is cgb percentage it now students should be from 18 to 28 years of age to apply mandatory documents like resume so you have to fill only college id it's a must mm, that's all